Hello and welcome to my Luminar Neo noiseless AI demo video. So we're going to run through the user interface, we're going to see how easy it is to install and I'm going to show you how well it works. Now this is going to be interesting because I use a few other noise reduction bits of editing software so um, I won't name them here but I will do a comparison video later on. So um, I'm, I'm really interested to see how this goes. Uh, I have high hopes for noiseless AI so uh, let's get into it and see how we get on. So we're in Luminar Neo right now, and we're just gonna quickly install Noiseless AI. So what we do is we go up to the jigsaw piece up in the top left hand corner, click on that, and it's gonna open out the preview box for the expansions. As you can see, HDR Merge, when it pops up here now, is installed already. So we're gonna go up to Noiseless AI and click on Install. Once we click on Install, it installs the expansion pack almost immediately. Close that out, and then we're going to start working on our photograph. This photograph was shot at ISO 12800. I purposely picked the three of these items. As you can see, there's fishing line off over here to the right. So I thought this would be a really good one. There's quite a bit of noise here now in the image itself. The black rim of the reel itself above and top, and then the fishing gut or fishing line. There's an awful lot of detail there. And I was thinking this is going to really test this software to see how well it can cope with all this. Then you'll see over here is there's a battery. Now it's a two-tone battery, so that's going to help us check our color noise reduction. And also there's quite a bit of highlight and shadow in it with a bit of detail there too as well. The third option then was the Nikkor lens, which basically it's a black lens with a nice bit of detail in the writing, the buttons off on the side and on the front and the display, and also the focus wheel. And then you have this lovely little detail above and top here too as well. Let's see how well that's going to work. Oh, and this, there's also a bit of writing over here, which I'm presuming isn't going to come out in the finish, fin finished image, but we'll, we'll have a look and see. So what we're going to do now is pop into the noiseless AI extension in the side panel here. When we open it, it's going to tell you that we have a number of different options. There's low, middle and high noise reduction. It's already after suggesting the high facility. So what you basically do is you can decide for yourself or just click on high. Then you're going to see this really cool kind of AI kind of stylized effect coming across the screen. It's calculating, it's working it out. It's trying its best now to denoise the image. And the one thing I will tell you here is this takes quite a bit of time but this is the beta version this is going to be slower this hasn't been optimized for performances of yet this is not the finalized version so I'm guessing the finished version is going to be quite a bit faster than this now don't hold me to that but I'm presuming it will be so that should be kicking through there now anytime soon and oh there we go and wow that's done. Complete the auto setting, pressing a button, and when you look at the black reel above and top, sorry, when I move it, it actually shows you the preview, what it was like beforehand, or shows you the original image, and then it takes a while to show you the preview. So once it settles down there now again, you can see lovely detail in the fishing line. That's all still there. The black and everything looks really good there now. So that's before, and this is afterwards. Before and afterwards just chopping and changing between the two there now. You can see there's maybe a fractional difference from a sharpness point of view, but again, we have separate sharpness and recover detail controls and whatnot, we'll come back to. But the battery here too as well, nice and smooth, very little, very little noise, very little color noise. That's after doing an amazing job. So just showing before and after. Before again and after. That is, that is really good. So, yeah. And as I say, over the right panel, you have numerous of controls, but what we're gonna just do is look through the entire image first. So looking at the lens when it settles down here now again, that is really good. That's, for an automatic setting in a beta version, that is really, really good. You can see all the controls, the displays, everything, the noise is just gone once that settles down along there now. It's maybe not absolutely perfect, but again, we have numerous controls we can play around with here too as well. And look at the writing is still there. The writing is actually still there. Wow, that's really good. That's the before, that's the after. Before and after. The detail and everything, all still there. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. That is really impressive. 
even if I zoom in now to 200% and just move this around the place and we'll go over to the fishing line, let's say, for example, because in my mind, this was going to be the hardest one. The amount of detail and fine lines and everything going on, and they're all mixed patterns, but that's before and that's after. Before, completely unusable. Afterwards, that looks really good. That is, that is really, really good. That re that has I wasn't expecting that now to be honest. Yeah. That is really really good, and again on the battery zoomed in at two hundred percent. Wow. That is that is some difference between the before and after there now. Again, what we're going to do is going to try to control this too as well in a minute and just see exactly how much of a difference there is with the sharpness control and the recovered details and the luminous denoising facility and the color denoising sorry i'm talking here while i'm doing this and that's really good at 200 percent and this was shot at iso 12800 iso 12800 noiseless ai you did it that's that's really 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 good just straight out of the box on an auto setting, doing nothing else, bang, you're done. And again, I'm presuming once that kicks in there, uh, again, I'm presuming on the finalized version, this is going to work a lot faster. It's like even when HDR Merge came out first, that was quite slow when I had the beta version. When I used it in the finalized version, it just worked a lot quicker. So, um, and as I was saying, this hasn't been optimized for performances of yet. And there's still a number of bugs too as well. So just adjusting the sharpness detail there now, that is popping the sharpness up there quite a bit there now, right? All these controls are going to give you a very fine line because um, you can recover your details. The problem with recovering your details and, and adjusting sharpness is it is going to highlight the, no, the noise a small bit again. So once you adjust one of the settings, you have to kind of rob Peter to play Paul. <laughs> I suppose it's down to the finalized effect you want. And now the one thing you have to remember is we're zoomed in at 100% here now. So that is, that's very important to remember. And this was shot on a 46 megapixel camera. So, you know, we, we are dealing with, a, dealing with a very large raw format file here. But that is, that is stunning now. In all fairness, that is really, really good. And again, sharpness control is up full whack there now. You can see it is bringing a tiny bit of noise just, just back into it again. Again, you can play around with the luminous noise settings and the color noise settings. I'm seeing very little color noise, but if I adjust the luminous denoise there now, it is helping a small little bit, bring it way down along, and you'll see the noise starts to creep back in again. Again, it takes a couple of seconds for that to kick in. And yeah, you can bring your noise, your color noise down. And yeah, you can see the effects there now straight away. That is, that's really working. So for me personally, the general, the general rule of thumb, I've been playing with this now for, um, for a small bit and I fully intend playing with it for a long time yet to really test it out. But just, just literally trying it for the first time here now live and recording this, I'm going, that's absolutely out of the box. Really, really good. That really, really, really works well. Now, maybe it's not perfect. Um, and it's going to be really interesting comparing it to the likes of denoise and on one no noise once the software is up and it's developed properly and it's out the door working. I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. But um, I just have been really impressed. And just bringing up the luminosity denoise, it has cleaned that up completely. Maybe you could say with a slight loss of sharpness to a certain extent. But it, um, just playing with the settings there now, it makes and recover details. That is sharpening things up nicely there now too as well, yeah. yeah. You can see there is more noise coming back in on the battery surface though. 
But again, it's a matter of playing around with this and finding the exact setting you want. I've had the same problem with no noise AI and denoise AI. You'll always find, oh, I just want the image a small bit sharper. And when you sharpen up too much or recover the details too much, you start getting all color noise and everything around the place. But zoomed out at, at a normal viewing size, that just looks incredibly good. When you look at the before and then you look at the after, that's, that's just amazing. Yeah, For one click. And it's all inside Luminar Neo, which is the beauty. It does no sending it to other software and then bringing it back in again, which all eats into the time. You just simply have the extension there, click on it, select whether you want low, middle, high, click on high, middle or low, whatever it's suggesting or whatever you feel is going to work best for you and walk away from there. Now you can add structure here, whatever else. I'm gonna play around with all these and I'm gonna come back to you again with another video once the product is finished and once it's set up and whatnot. But adding structure is definitely going to help or adding details too as well. So that actually worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, I was a slight, bit, a small bit, a tiny little bit worried about how well this was going to work uh, because it's a beta version and whatnot. And um, I think it did an absolutely amazing job. Now, is it the best bit of noise reduction software out there? Oh, it's a bit of a tough one. I also use two other noise reduction software products. So um, one of these days I'm going to pop up a comparison. But at the moment, that would be completely unfair because you have to remember, this is a beta version. This isn't going to be released for another bit. <laughs> I nearly said a date there. This isn't going to be released for another bit. So um, <laughs> to pause and stop and think what I'm saying here. So we just need to see how the finalized version how well that's going to work but at the moment i think this is really good this is really really i would be very happy with the results from this if you don't want it if you don't need it don't get it that, that's that's my motto if you want it and if you need it i genuinely think you're going to save money in comparison to the other companies out there especially topaz the, the image quality bundle sorry topaz i mentioned it but the image quality bundle for 200 dollars a year I, I i think this expansion pack is just going to completely blow it away just be straight up and honest with you i think the days of using Topaz Labs are completely gone for me. And um, yeah, that, that, that's basically it. Let me know what you think. And yeah, is it too expensive? Should they have not gone for the subscription model? And yes, you still can buy the products too as well. And as I said before, there is a link in the description down below that you can click on. That'll bring you to my blog post where I highlight all the prices. There's no point talking about them here because they're changing every now and then. So there's an early bird offer at the moment. So now's the time to buy if you're thinking about buying it. Again, click down below and there's a discount code there too as well. So um, look, see what you think. I'm, I for one, I'm really impressed. And I'm very happy and you know, it, this, this is like doing exactly what I thought it would do. And I'm also really interested to see what's going to happen with upscale AI, AI background removal, and the other bits of editing software that are coming to as well in the future expansion packs. Now, do I believe there is going to be a sharpening version? Um, yes, I do. Um, I would, I, I would definitely see that happening in, in the future. And, um, the other thing you have to remember is there are seven expansion packs coming in 2022. So we only know a few of them so far. So that could well be coming incredibly soon, but, um, look, stay tuned. I'm going to pop up videos on upscale AI, AI background removal too, as well. As soon as I can, as soon as I'm allowed to publish them, I'll do that. And, uh, don't forget to subscribe, please. And also hit that bell too as well so you get notifications when I post a new video. So you can stay in the loop on when the latest bit of editing software is coming out, what the details and specs are, and um, that's basically it. So uh, see you out there, guys, and see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.